He said, not only on this healing, all things whatsoever ye ask in prayer, it shall be done unto you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you're tuning into this channel. One verse on YouTube. I want to welcome you to week 30 of 2024 in the month of July. We are rounding up the series Healing for All. And I'm excited we are bringing a very short verse today, you know, to discuss and make it very brief to round up this episode of Healing for All. And I will not cease to be grateful to God for bringing you to join this commission that God has given unto us and for as many that are sharing these verses with family and friends, God bless you. As many that are also clicking the like button, what you are doing, you are doing a work of evangelists, making YouTube to recommend this video to as many that will watch video like this. And thank you so much. Please, if you have not subscribed, go ahead to subscribe. So, in rounding up this series, I want to bring a very simple verse. Today, we'll be talking about the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 22. And all things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. Can we bow our hearts in prayer? To you be all the glory, King of glory. What a privilege. Lord God, King of glory, to bring your word to my people, to my brethren. I want to thank you for impressing this particular verse on my heart. Lord, take all that glory. And I cover this moment, this streaming, this video with the blood of Jesus. As many that have come in contact with this video, Lord God, King of glory. Father, there will be a testimony. I want to thank you, Lord God, King of glory, because... Through this video, the consciousness of many shall be awoken. And of a truth, Lord God, King of glory, this video will do them good, even as they will take their rightful place without any confusing and complicated theories and strategies. Lord, they will embrace the simplicity of the gospel and Lord, make it good for their lives and the lives of their loved ones. Thank you, Lord, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Brethren, thank you, thank you, thank you. And please let me drop this quick. You know that Wednesday, Wednesday, the last day of July, we are having verses review. So all the healing verses we have done in this month, I'll be having my brethren to come and review it with me. And guess what? Divine Healing Technicians will be live on this platform. 12 noon Texas time is, is the time. 6 p.m. Nigeria time. Please invite as many that you know that need healing and deliverance. And God will bless you. So let's go right quick in the verse of the week. Matthew chapter 11 verse 22. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask. Remember, all things whatsoever ye shall ask, believing ye shall receive. Brethren, how good can the gospel be again? I have always, you know, shared with friends and family members that the simplicity of the gospel, because man has been wired to labor, to labor so much that the simplicity of the gospel become a stumbling block for us to possess our possession. You cannot really appreciate this verse if you just take only this verse. In this book of Matthew, if we, you know, recollect from maybe like three chapters before this, okay, 
let me also remind us that this is one verse and we have issued a disclaimer that will not be quoting several scriptures and that is why i will not be quoting the chapter and the verse of what i'm talking about but you know no single verse can stand alone so i want to bring in some content to support this point so this is not the first time jesus has mentioned his condition for receiving whatsoever you ask in prayer we remember that when jesus happens to you know take three of his disciples to the mount of transfiguration after the whole miracle and the scenario elijah moses appearing to him and it was a wild wow moment long story short when they came down they met a scene at the valley of the mountain a man came with his son and the nine disciples they were unable to cast out the helpless in the life of the boy and jesus was like what's going on and the father of the son came up to say lord I brought my son to your disciples and they were unable to cast out. Please help me if you can. And Jesus said, please help you if I can. No. You are missing something. The point is that all things are possible to him that believes. And the man fell down and worshipped and said, I believe. Help my own belief. So this was the first time that Jesus was given this caveat. So on this particular scenario, Jesus, you know, the previous verses before verse 22, you know, was hungry and seeing a fig tree that was so blossom, he approached the fig tree and found out that there was no fruit on the fig tree. And Jesus said, No man will eat from you again. And the following the disciples were passing on that same road, behold. The fig tree is withered, dried up. And they were so curious and they were like, Jesus, this fig tree you caused yesterday has just dried up. And remember that same situation occurred during the healing of the epileptic boy. When Jesus interacted with the father of the, the boy, the disciples came, hearing the answer Jesus gave to the man, if you believe what is supposed to be. And they were like, why is it that we cannot cast out? And Jesus said the same scenario. He said, it's because of your own belief. If you believe what is possible, but how be it? This kind does not go without prayer and fasting. And here again, you have you know, spoke to the fig tree, and the fig tree is withered. What is going on? We understand that is healing, but this is fig tree. This does not have ears, nor can hear you speak. And Jesus said, Not only the fig tree will dry off if you believe. He said, The you can see to a mountain. Be that removed and be cast into the sea, and it shall be done. Ah, if only you believe. Please, if you have not watched our videos in this month, please, it's loaded. Go back and watch them. I recommend them to family and friends. And so, Jesus told them, He said, Not only on this healing. All things whatsoever ye ask in prayer, it shall be done unto you. Whatever ye ask, ye shall receive. And in one of the videos, I mentioned so much that people always get it twisted. They said, Why are you bringing this verse to healing and deliverance? We are talking about victory here. Yeah? And Jesus was talking about. All things you ask in prayer, you see, they are all tied together. I, for one, I'm the fine boy. I like it brief, I like it short cuts. Why 
will I want to heal with a whole lot of prayers. If only I can also walk in faith, believing just like Apostle Paul, looking at the man who has seen that he has faith to be healed. And Apostle Paul said, rise upon your feet. You know, Peter demonstrated this thing, and it was so, so good to me. Silver and gold have I known, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And the man was washing. That is not what I needed. Come on, Peter, stretch forth his hand. You know, lift him up. You know why? Because he believes. So it is not about who is saying it. It's about who believe what he was asking in prayer. So it was stated here, all things. So if I want to hear, and I can only believe, I ask you to rise on your feet. I don't need to say a whole lengthy prayers to make it happen. If I could believe, whatever I ask shall be given unto me. So why can't I just say, rise up and walk? Eyes be open, cancer be cast away from that body. Death, yes, here right now. The dumb speak right now. A miracle is consummated. Won't I rejoice? Come on. I would say that a million times instead of having a protocol of making long prayers. So that is my son, and that has been what Jesus has taught us. Remember, in one of his miraculous sins, he said, Your sins are forgiven. And they say, Oh, you're blaspheming. Why will you say your sins are forgiven? Are you God? He said, What is easy? To say, Rise up and walk, or your sins are forgiven. Brethren, let's not get this thing twisted. I have come to understand that the simplicity of the gospel becomes hindrance to the simple, becomes the stumbling block to the simple, and prevents them or hinder them from possessing their possession. So Lord has placed in my mind to bring this verse unto you, that you may embrace the simplicity of the gospel. The bottom line here is that if you believe all things that your ask will be given unto you, so it doesn't matter whether you want to ask the name of the demon that is possessing the person. How many are they? If you enjoy drama, of course you know the devil cannot speak truth. He will entertain you with lies. So why will I busy sit down to listen to his lies? We have 8 billion souls here on earth. And remember, the gospel was meant to reach the uttermost part of the earth. So brethren, Embrace the simplicity of the gospel. All things, all things, whatever you shall ask in prayer. The bottom line is that believing. If you believe, you shall receive. Let me also submit to you that paraventure you have been asking and you have not been seeing the result. You cannot give what you don't have. Jesus has given us the gifts of life. Will you receive it? Will you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? Remember, I said, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If you will open our coming and stop with you, can you today accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? And this Zoe life will be resident in you. And when you have life, you can give it to anyone you wish to give. So, the bottom line is believing. And believing can only come. If you have accepted the free gift of life from Jesus, come with our hearts in prayer. Father, I want to thank you. Take all that glory. As many that are hearing the sound of my voice. And Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me to do good works in the life of men, to heal the sick. To open the blind eyes, to so set the captives free. I pray today, Lord God, King of glory, that will so ever be hearing the sound of my voice. Paraventure, you have been afflicted for so long. This moment, as simple as this verse is, because I believe, I ask that that situation 
come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Paraventure, there are alien spirits occupying your temple. Your temple, your body is the temple of God. Therefore, I dislodge them in the name of Jesus. They receive witness and vanish from your life and be cast into the pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. That cancer right now, your end has come. Get out of that body in the name of Jesus. That blind begin to see. That deaf and the sound of this world that is coming forth, Lord God, King of glory. That deaf begin to hear and that dumb begin to speak in the mighty name of Jesus. I command your mortal body to receive healing in the name of Jesus. I give you life as I receive from the Lord, and I speak that vibration come to your soul, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray, Amen. Brethren, if you believe, all things are possible. Everything concerning life, everything pertaining to godliness, the Lord has given unto us. As you receive, believe Him. May it be given unto you, in the mighty name of Jesus. Please don't forget Wednesday, 12 noon Texas time, 6 p.m. Nigerian time. We'll be here live on one bus, just one hour, lunch hour, and there will be miracles and healing in the name of Jesus. Until we meet again, I remain your brother, Pastor Andrew Feinborn. Shalom.